hi guys in this video i will tell you everything you need to know about monitor and control app by sony so far this app is compatible with sony burano sony fx6 sony fx3 sony fx30 sony alpha 1 sony alpha 9 3 sony alpha 7 r 5 sony a7 s3 sony a7 4 and sony zv e1 so first of all i will tell you how to set up your camera for the connection with the app and for that i'm using sony fx6 and a uh, pix 240i device to show you the menus how i'm gonna go through the menus so turn on your camera and then long press the menu button on sony fx6 to go to the menu and then scroll down to network click on network and then uh, scroll all the way down till you find the network reset when you find the network reset just click on this and then click on execute and it will take like 5 to 10 seconds to ex execute and then after that when uh, the network uh, reset is done it's gonna ask you to turn off the camera and then turn it on again so after you turn off and turn on the camera go to menu again and scroll down to network and then uh, click on setup for mobile app and then setup and then ok and it will take like 5 to 10 seconds to change again and then after that it's gonna show you a screen like this which will sh be showing a password and then a name and then it's gonna be showing you a QR code it is very important it's gonna be very helpful for you after so just keep it in mind that this barcode you will need it again so after that you need to go back and then you go to wireless LAN and you in the settings you uh, try to make it access point mode and then you need to go to AP mode setting and on AP mode setting what you do is you need to go to SSID and password click on that and there you can see the camera SSID which will be showing on your phone Wi-Fi and then under that there is Wi-Fi password this is the password which you need for connecting your Wi-Fi of your phone with this camera's Wi-Fi so now I will tell you how you can do it uh, connect it on your phone so to do that what you need to do is you need to go on your phone open the settings and then when you have opened the settings look for your camera name click on the camera name and then it will ask you for the password so the same password which is showing on SSID and password you will need to click on that password and copy that password and when you will put that password it will be connected now you are ready to open your camera companion app so when you will open the monitor and control app for the first time it will ask you for uh, agreeing the terms and condition and then it's gonna ask you to sign up now or later you can click on sign up later and then after that it will ask you for permissions to use your bluetooth your wi-fi your uh, location your camera and mic and everything and you'll have to allow it after that you are set up for that so when you will open it most of the time it's gonna be on the bluetooth you'll have to click on this option and change it from bluetooth to wi-fi and then you will when you will click on wi-fi it will automatically detect your camera because your wi-fi is connected with the camera when you when you will click on the camera it will ask you for the password or you can scan the QR, qr code so you will need to go to the settings again on the setup and click on that and it will show you the same QR code which it showed uh, before and then you can scan this QR code through your mobile and then after that it will connect with your camera and you will be able to access the settings of your camera like ND, exposure index, uh, I mean ISO or uh, shutter uh, speed angle or uh, decreasing increasing uh, ND or uh, white balance or anything so yeah now you are set up for the camera now I will take you step by step to the things which you can do and access in camera control app first of all you can use your smartphone as onboard monitor of camera and it can be used as a viewfinder to change the camera settings as well on the top left corner you will have some tools if you will click on that you will have uh, some features to control your uh, exposure and to control your exposure you can use waveform or false color or zebra and then there is histogram as well so these are very handy tools to use and you can just click on them explore them how to use them and uh, false color is the one which i use most of the time and you can change the focus as well and you can keep uh, the bars of iris and focus on sides of your full screen mode and then 
uh, you can click on any object and it will uh, select the focus range of that like from where to where this thing is gonna be in focus and you can expand that range minimum and maximum by 350 percent so it will give you a bit more of the flexibility which is an amazing feature to be honest like if something is moving it will really control that focus and it will keep moving and tracking in that range and it will not go out of that range another feature which is very cool to be honest for post-production and coloring is like uh, you can have log footage on your iPhone or iPad through this app and then you can import a lot on your log footage to see how it's gonna look when you will grade it in tools there is another helpful tool which is called a uh, squeeze factor uh, for the anamorphic lenses so if you are using any anamorphic lenses you can choose the squeeze factor of the lens in there and it will uh, de-squeeze uh, the image as it should be and it will show you the real image which is a very helpful tool last but not the least you can have up to four cameras connected with this app on ipads uh, and the version should be 16 or later on ipads so this is a very helpful tool uh, in, in a way that uh, if you are uh, not going to be accessing your cameras and there are three or four cameras and you need to trigger the cameras on the same time with one click you can trigger all these cameras and i'm gonna make a video about how you can do this multi-screen setup and trigger the cameras on the same time after so if you are interested don't forget to subscribe because this video is just gonna be coming very soon so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more because i'm gonna be making many and many videos like this which are gonna be helping you in the future